Hello and welcome to episode 9. My name is Julie from So Unique and I will pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media. Um, I'm, I am most active on Instagram. I must admit I don't get to post a lot these days. I don't seem to have time for everything. Um, I have a Etsy shop and a website. Uh, so yes, welcome. I uh, hope everybody's had a good week. I'm sort of changing my format of my filming this week slightly because um, I have been doing it just on one day a week which has been a little bit better for me. Um, but Monday I think is the 1st of March so that's going to be our podcasting day. So my time is going to be taken up with the podcast and obviously editing and everything else. So I thought this week I would do my little bits each day and then by the weekend I should have enough footage then for a vlog <laughs> I hope <laughs> it just depends how things go um, so today is Wednesday um, don't ask me what date it is because I haven't got a clue 20 something <laughs> I know that uh, so obviously Monday I did my filming and the vlog went up Tuesday I was back down at the shop so I'm going to follow on from last week's vlog. I went down to the shop, I got all the licensed fat quarter bundles all photographed. So I, I now, I should have done this yesterday, I wasn't last night. I had intended Tuesday evening to edit the photographs and put everything on eBay but I didn't did I? I got sidetracked because my neck and shoulders were feeling fine so I thought right I'm going to do some cross stitch and I sat there on and off all evening in between sort of tea and doing other things and yeah I've been cross stitching and I've loved it and of course I can feel it a bit today that my neck's a little bit a little bit stiff but I put some cream on this morning not too bad now so I'm having a break from the cross stitch so I decided to come and start my filming. Um, I've been working on the um, Sew by Row, the Laurie Holt pattern, which I will share bits of my progress throughout the blog this time. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. I've, I finished the shape that I was on, the, the quilting block, and then I did one of the irons on the next row. And at the minute I've started on the sewing machine, the middle sewing machine, and I have started to put some of the, the lines, the border lines in between each <clears throat> row. So the sewing machine obviously is going to take quite a while. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. But no, I'm really enjoying it. But obviously I've got to be careful <laughs> how much time I spend. Uh, so yes, hence why the stuff didn't go on eBay last night. So I've got a few things to do in my sewing room today, which is is Wednesday, and I've been playing with the kittens this morning. I know somebody asked me, um, was it Marie? Marie or oh, Maria? No. I I did. I think I did answer the message, but you know, not, nothing on about the kittens, which I know, but. They're either asleep or running around like crazy. They have the mad moments two or three times a day. Um, and of course, with them both being black, and the lighting, obviously, with it being winter, is not very good. And they don't sit still for long enough as well. But I, I am going to try and get some little snippets of them this week. I got a little bit um, yesterday, and a beautiful sort of bit of video of Bramble and um, she was on our bed so you'll see her sat on the Christmas quilt now whether you'll see Salem because he was underneath the quilt but he popped out and ran off um, so yeah I will try and put a little bit of footage in but thank you for asking they are both doing really well little tinkers but they are definitely developing their own personalities now um, Bramble, she's still she's still a bit aloof, you know. She's not really fussed on being petted or anything like that. But she seems to be 
all for Adele. Adele will get up in the morning or come in and Bramble is there sort of mowing at her all the time. But for the rest of us, she can be a bit funny. But having said that, she's, and this week, she actually, she's not been too bad. She'll come up for petting. Half of the time, it's because she wants something. <laughs> it's usually food. But, um, yeah, her eating habits have been a little bit off. One minute she, she'll eat, the next minute she's not that bothered. And she tends to sit back a bit as well. Salem sort of straight in for the food. But um, she, they're coming along. They are coming along lovely. So we, I will try and do my best, like I say, this week to get some photographs or some video of them both. <laughs> uh, so what am I doing now? Well, as you can see, I'm in my sewing room. I had planned on having sort of maybe half a day of sewing today, but that's not worked out right. I've spent this morning on the computer. I very silly, sillily opened up something that I shouldn't have done. I had a message off my friend and it's like, oh, look at this. You're, you're on here type thing. I think, oh, what's that? And I opened it up and clicked on it. And it said log in through Facebook, which I've had these things before. So I logged in, didn't I? And then obviously it took me to something else. And I thought, oh, no, I shouldn't have done this. And then I get the message saying, don't open anything. I've been hacked. So I think, oh, God, what have I done? So I spent the morning going around everything that's got that email address on, changing it, changing all my passwords, everything. So hopefully... Nothing else will happen, but I will get Jake to have a look at it and check my security and everything on the computer. But, do you know, I don't normally open anything when it comes through like that. I usually just delete it and it came through as a message. And, uh, yeah, still, we live and learn, don't we? I'll do that again. Uh, so, yes, that's what's taken up most of my day. So, I'm out here. I'm actually looking for some fabric. Um, I want my bunny fabric. And I don't know what I've done with it. I've put it away somewhere, so I need to find that. Uh, and then I've got, uh, I want to make a sample up. So really, that might be me for the day. I'll probably do a bit of cross stitch later, so I might see you all a bit later on. My sewing day hasn't exactly gone to plan and um, as I said before I was looking for some fabric um, which all I found a scrap piece says so that's put paid to that so I had to go and order some more fabric and then I thought I'm going to tidy up my sewing room <laughs> so that's what I've been doing and as you can see up there, I've stuck another pair of scissors up on the wall. I've got all my little scissors stuck on the wall near, near the sewing machines, which has been really useful. Uh, what I had in here, um, I'll show you in a, in a couple of minutes. I've got some grid wall, a piece of grid wall. Uh, I think it's a five foot piece that I had ooh, eight years ago when I was in the bigger shop. And brought it home, thought about getting rid of it, then I decided not to because you can buy feet for these things. And I thought, well, if we're doing any shows, I might want to take it with me. That, that was my plan. And I don't do any shows anymore, do I? <laughs> so it's been stood out here in my sewing room, just propped up at the end of the worktop for three, three and a half years, I would say. And then I had a bright idea the other day about using it. So I moved one or two of the bits out of the way that were stood in front. And what I've done, as it's the end of the worktop, I've got some four cable ties and I've attached it to the legs of the worktop. Found my hooks out. So now I've got storage for all my rulers because I've, I've got a double amount of rulers now because I had a set for home and a set for the shop. 
and I don't really use all these rulers down at the shop anymore <clears throat> apart from my big one for cutting out so I've got my uh, like I said the rulers on there I've got my scissors on there my pens for uh, my fix, fix on pens if I need to mark anything I've got some clips and I've got my rotary cutters so yeah and it's all nice and neat and tidy because I'm forever losing little rulers and things like that so now I'm really pleased with it so I will show you what I've done oh and I've got two trays on there all I did was put two of the hooks on and then sit my pl little plastic dish on and then I've <laughs> got elastic bands at the front and the back of the dish to keep the hooks together I mean that's only temporary but if it works it's fine and I've got a, a metal um, pen tin on there as well and I've done the same with that because I went looking uh, a few days ago online to see if I could find any anything for grid wall you know and there wasn't anything out there it was either too big or not what I wanted and on Amazon everything was coming from China and that was going to take weeks so I thought don't bother I'm sure I can come up with something and I did and I'm really pleased with it it looks really good so I'm happy with that so uh, yeah I will show you what it looks like and then I'll catch you all again tomorrow And it's Friday today and I'm just in my sewing room enjoying a nice cup of mint tea I've got mint tea which is very nice and um, you'll probably think what's happened to Thursday <laughs> well nothing <laughs> I did not pick the camera up once yesterday and um, I spent most of my day at the shop um, trying to sort of have that last big push of getting rid of any rubbish and sort of sorting the fabrics out and I think I'm getting there now it's just about done I managed to cut some fabrics up for the fabric at quarter boxes so yeah the, <laughs> the next job really is to clear my sort of work area there's a few more fabrics on there that need putting in the fat quarter pile. I want to clean all my table down, uh, replace the cutting mat on there. And then when that's done, which hopefully next week that's what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be at the shop Tuesday and Thursday next week. And then the last job really is to tidy up all my shelves under my counter, because I have never actually got round to tidying them up and sort of getting rid of bits that I don't need anymore so it's a little bit cluttered under there uh, the little cupboard next to where the till is that's where I now keep my kettle and I've got all my cups and bowls and tea bags under there so that's all tidy I, managed, I tidied that up to start with so yeah then really it's just it's just going to be getting things online then so I think another week of tidying, organising, clearing out and then it's just basically going to be getting things photographed and put online which I can do each day and I can actually get back to some proper crafting then because I've got to do some samples probably for quilting, some like little mini quilts or something to go up on the wall. Uh, 
which I'm looking forward to doing because now I've got a bear patch on the wall because since the, the yarn's been moved and the top rack of yarn that I had obviously is in the in the other side now and I can do some sewing to put some samples up so that'll be a job. I want to try and get all these little jobs done before we reopen. So I've got I've got what five weeks I think now or just over five weeks until we open. Five and a half weeks I think it is. So I think I've got plenty of time so I'm trying to be organised. Anyhow this morning as it's Friday I started my day off with a little bit of cross stitch. I will insert a picture of what I'm working on. Um, it's the sew by row, uh, sam sam I suppose the sampler really, and I was working on the one of the sewing machines. That's taken a bit of doing because it's uh, <laughs> quite, it's actually quite big, but I've been I have enjoyed it. But I have I got neck ache and that and shoulder ache, and I could just feel it going down into my arms this morning. So I think I probably had what half an hour, forty minutes, and then I just had to walk away and leave it <laughs> so yeah so I, I might not get much cross stitching done over the weekend but we'll say we'll say I do need to do some sewing and I managed to find a bit of fabric out that I was looking for I'll just get it just bear with me I found it if you remember a couple of weeks ago I showed you some of the panels that I've got left over from when I was um, going to start a quilt and then I changed my mind on the colour scheme well this is one of them actually you can see let me just pop it on the board because you can see through it <clears throat> there we go and um, this fabric I no longer have because it was a collection I bought and Obviously, some of the colours went pretty quickly, but luckily, when I was sorting fabrics out yesterday at work, I found a couple of metres of this gorgeous uh, postcard fabric, and this is part of the collection. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this, but the colours, oops, bear with me. The colours go really well, so I'm going to use this for the rest of my panels now. So, because like I said, the, the colours are perfect, and it will also go with that one because the, the shades in here are like in that piece, and then I've got one more. And that's upside down and this has actually got a piece of the fabric already in it so yeah so I've definitely got enough fabric for three more bags so <laughs> looks like that's my work for next week but like I said I've got a couple of meters of this left and I couldn't believe my luck actually that I found this out it got it was on the shelf um with some other fabrics but with it being sort of quite slim it the, the fabric from the next to the bolt on either side of it had sort of had opened up a little bit so it covered it up so I didn't see it but I'm really glad that I obviously organizing all the fabrics again that I came across it so now I can get on with some things oh, right so now I'm just I'm just cutting out a bag something different and I'm going to do a little bit of machine embroidery on it as well. So yeah, that's going to keep me busy for a little while. So I'll catch you all a little bit later on. finally managed to get back out into my sewing room and um, no filming over the weekend just didn't have time seemed to be a weekend for shopping um mother-in-law shopping and doing some housework really some well-needed catch-up <laughs> 
so basically that's all I've been doing. I did manage to get a little bit of cross stitch done over the weekend. So that's what I will start with. I will show you what I've been what I've actually been doing. Um I've not worked on the tomp tape. I thought this week I would just work on sew by row. <coughs> And then next week I will go back to the Tompty one. So yeah, I'll show you the progress I've made. You have to excuse the creases. I'm afraid I've been doing a little bit sort of without a hoop this week, but I managed to get the sewing machine done. It's got its little needle in. Love that. And I managed to do another iron. And I'm just starting there on the cotton cotton bobbins. And then underneath that there'll be like a, a row of fat quarters so i'm going to do some of the smaller ones to start with and then i will probably start and outline the sewing machines and then have it ready just so i can sit and fill in uh hopefully maybe watching telly or upstairs on my desk watching youtube things like that so when i haven't got to concentrate i can just stitch away and it'll be good so that is coming on so like i say next week back to the tomte <clears throat> um naughty purchases well <laughs> i haven't really bought much this week i must admit but having said that i had a <clears throat> nice package come today i have not opened it because it's for my birthday which is next week so i'm going to have to wait so i will share that with you next week so it's something exciting something for my crafting so i can't wait to open it and share it with you <clears throat> right so the only things i have bought this week are a couple of cross stitch patterns now i wanted something for spring easter but maybe it's not too easter but it's more springy um so i've found these on etsy and what's this one called this one's called carrot patch and it's all done on black ada so i sent for some black ada because that is something i haven't got and there's like um there's like a collection of different things i think there's uh a cabbage patch i think that's the newest one and i'm sure there's another one but i quite like that one it doesn't look too complicated and it's not too big what size is it the finished size is four inch by three inch which that's brilliant <laughs> but i found um i'm following a, a youtube channel now let me see what it's, who are they stitching with the housewives and it's uh, mother and daughter and they design cross stitch patterns basically and it's sort of like a chalkboard effect <clears throat> and i've watched watched the youtube channel i've just started sort of watching them and oh my goodness me i love all the decorations i watched one uh, earlier on in the week when they decorated up for christmas this is the mum and i think she's got 13 christmas trees <laughs> in her house for christmas it looks absolutely fabulous though so yeah and i like the way they don't use sort of ordinary picture frames that they do different things with their cross stitch so i'm going to have a go at doing some things like that so that's the first one that i bought sorry for the rustling i've got lots of trouble i've got them in plastic pockets and <laughs> makes a bit of a noise and then they slip everywhere and the next one is called Hello Summer and this is Stitching with the Housewives again and they are on Etsy and I think that is what their Etsy shop is called. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Etsy is Stitching Housewives um, but they have got some nice designs on there. Now, yeah, this one is Hello Summer so it's a mug and melon which i hope i think that's really nice so that is three by four inches as well and what have they used they've actually used 28 count black even weave for that <coughs> but i'm using 14 count ada so mine will come out a different size uh, so yeah i'm not sure 
Oh, they've used classic colour works, which I haven't got any of that. I, I don't know if that's American flosses or what. Never heard of that, really. So I will be trying to colour match with DMC and Aurifel, whatever I've got, really. So, yeah, looking forward to starting that. So but I, I really want to get my Tomty finished first before I start that one. Now, this one is a freebie. And I found this one um, thanks to Davina from Little Workroom Class because she's she's got it. And it, this is a free one, a free pattern, and it's from Whilst Iris Naps Designs. And there is a Christmas one on, so that, that's her name there. And that is your design. So we've got the bunnies and we've got the carrots, so it's little pillows. But you could frame them if you want to. But I'm going to make little pillows with mine. And I'm going to try and make like a, like an Easter display. I don't know where it's going to go. <clears throat> because when you watch some of these, the American ladies and, and that, they've got like really sort of like big kitchens and sort of island space, I suppose it is. And they have these three tier tray racks. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we get anything like that. I mean, we get um, the cake ones, the three-tier cake ones, but they're not as big. And they decorate these up with the pillows and all the cross-stitch designs and greenery and crockery bits from the kitchen, like salt and pepper shakers and mugs and things like that. So I thought I would try and do something like that, smaller scale, for my worktop in the kitchen. So... <laughs> I'll have to watch this space and see how I get on with it this year. <clears throat> so really, that's all my purchases and a freebie. So, but I'm not looking for any more designs now. <laughs> I've got to stitch what I've got. Anyhow, I thought I would do a little giveaway this month. Now, I know we said we weren't going to do a giveaway every month, but I thought, since I've been cross stitching this month, I have got a copy, well, my copy of <clears throat> the Peter Rabbit, you know, cross stitch magazine that I got. So, this is the world of cross stitching, and it's got some really nice designs in there. I mean, obviously, you've got your Peter Rabbit on there. I mean, I'm never going to use this magazine again, and it'll either go in the recycling bin or just get sent to the charity shop. So, I thought. I might as well pass it on to somebody else who's into cross stitch who wants to do one of these designs especially if you're a Peter Rabbit fan um, and then once you've done it you can pass it on to somebody else at least it's going to get used and in it and there's a lovely little design there I don't know if you can see it and it's got all uh, sort of stitchy stitchy it's like a stitchy notions pouch I think but well, that would be nice and what else is there? Oh, there's a for a tin. We've got that one, there's that one, and there's that gorgeous daffodil one. That is really nice, that. <clears throat> but I'm not going to do that because I've actually got a cross stitch that, oh gosh, I started a long, long time ago. Probably mm, might have been late 90s, early 2000. And it's, I think it's tulips. It's a vase of tulips. And I got down onto the vase. And it was at that time when I sort of got a bit fed up with cross stitch. And I left it. And the mum finished it off for me. And I've got it. And it's all packed away. So I would like to get that actually framed up or do something with it. So that's why I'm not going to do the daffodils. But that looks really nice. And if, if I hadn't got one, I would do that one next. So... <laughs> get back to the giveaway so the giveaway for february is this magazine and all you need to do is obviously comment down below leave me a comment regardless whether you want to be in with a chance to win it or not i love reading all your comments and i do answer everyone it might not be straight away but i do get back to everybody and um, if you want to be in with a chance to win it put to win me in the comments so i can see it and i will put your name into the draw and it will get drawn uh, on next next week's vlog so it's open worldwide 
So anybody can take part. Um, obviously, it's not sponsored by anybody. It's just me giving away my magazine. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I've got to say on that, haven't I? Yeah, Open World Wide magazine. Yeah. So yeah. So like I said, I hope every you know I hope everybody likes the magazine and. You know, I'd love to see if you do Peter Rabbit, and I hope you do do share it with me, whoever wins it. So, yeah, good luck to everybody for that. And I would just like to say thank you for joining me this week. Um, it's actually been better for me this week to do a little bit over the week. <laughs> so it's not so rushed today. So I can actually now finish this vlog and go and get it edited. And then I can start thinking about the podcast. So I hope everybody's had a crafty week and I hope you're enjoying this lovely weather that we're having at the moment and take care and we will s I will see you all again next week. Well no I won't actually, no yes I will see you next week but I will see you for the podcast. Bye for now.